And in this episode of Travel Dark in the USA, we head out of New York City to Bronx Zoo. We go on a crazy monorail, which lets us see beautiful animals like this beautiful big elephant with his waggly tail and these dangerous scary gorillas and these particularly dangerous budgies who burn away up our hands. And of course, we test out all the food the zoo has to offer. So, Bronx Zoo. Go! Everybody, Travel Dog here, and we are strolling down the street in New York City to get to Times Square, 42nd Street, and we're on the way to Bronx Zoo. Um, it's supposed to be one of the best zoos in the world, apparently. It seems to be absolutely gigantic. So we'll get there, we'll obviously, uh, see what little bits of food we get on the way in the zoo or and there, uh, and um, yeah, let's see what happens on the way to Bronx Zoo, baby. Every day we keep walking past Dim Sum Sam. I'm kind of obsessed by dim sum sand. No idea what they got inside there, but it just makes my mind go crazy. Dim sum sand. You get a rainbow bagel with M and M cream cheese. Oh, look, it's another bagel shop that looks good. Did you see that rainbow bagel? Look, bagel with M and M cream cheese. You can't stop on the subway. They've actually got outside as well. What is it? Check it out. Kind of freaky. So we got to the Bronx and we're taking the exit to the Bronx Zoo. No, nothing. Nothing. We're heading down here. To the Bronx Zoo exit. Cool bit of building here. Yeah. Bronx. We're wandering through now. I think that's a queue of people heading for the zoo. Through the Bronx. Get to the zoo. Hey, yeah, everybody, so here we are, Bronx Zoo. We made it, baby, and we're about to head in with our online tickets. Okay, everybody, we're actually in Bronx Zoo, amazingly enough. And we have got advanced reservation for budgie landing. Monorail jungle world. Okay, so these are the things, bug carousel, butterfly garden, children's zoo, Congo gorilla forest, jungle world, nature trek, wild Asia monorail. Okay. Everything shuts about 4.30. Camel. That's a camel lying on the ground over there, man. This is, must be like an eating area. Cool. You see the camel, right? Okay. So we've got a souvenir cup with free refills all day. Let me see it. Let's see it. Souvenir cup, baby. At least we can just have drinks all day. Hotel drinking situation, water is so slow out of the water thing. I haven't drunk any water for days. So this is the jungle monorail we're about to go. So it's kind of cool. Right. I think we'll have to wait for a bit. What happens here? It spins around. Oh no, they open up. Cool. It's kind of funky, man. Come on, jungle monorail, let's go. Okay, so we're about to head off on the monorail. Two explorers, and welcome. To the Wild Asia Monorail. Monorail is up, everybody. My name is Al. I will be your guide and driver today. For your safety, folks, please remain seated throughout the entire train ride and keep those hands and feet inside the train car at all times. We are now crossing over the Bronx River, and when we get to the other side, we'll be on the wild plains of Asia, <laughs> as if by magic. I am your guide, you are my field scientist in training. Adventure awaits us. And here we are folks, we've just traveled over 7,000 miles and we're on the wild plains of Asia. If you look to the top of the hill on the left hand side, you'll see some of our female black buck antelopes. Females have the honey brown coats and white bellies, while the males have the darker brown coats and horns. If you look here in the center, underneath the trees, you'll see three of our male Barasinga deer. Male Barasinga deer, or Barasinga deer in general, are from central India. Top of the hill right here on the right, you'll see our Bactrian deer. Our Bactrian deer are native to the central Asian plain, mostly seen in Afghanistan. These beautiful champagne-colored deer are a subspecies of the red deer, but they're not red or herd. That's baby Kyle. Kyle was born here about two months ago on Memorial Day. And Kyle is a colt. 
our face are the loss of their natural habitat due to over farming and diseases they may catch from our domestic cattle. Now Anakin is in that first bush folks. I'm sorry. It's very difficult to see but I did see his stripes. As you come around the bend folks he is hiding in that first bush. He likes to nap there in the morning. I apologize. And again, is a 12 year old male, a boar, or a Siberian tiger. You have Happy here on the left, and you have Patty on the right. Asian elephants can weigh over 10,000 pounds. And in order for these it. lovely ladies to keep their wonderful figures, they need to eat over 200 pounds of hay a day, as well as drink over 60 gallons of water. Hello, Happy. Hello, Patty. How are you, pretty lady? Take a look at their trunks, folks. They're incredible tools. There are over 40,000 muscles in an elephant's trunk. That's more muscles than there are in the human body. And Asian elephants have a little finger-like adaptation at the end of their trunks, which they can use to pick up delicate objects, like a single blade of grass or an egg without breaking it. Oops, folks, I forgot to tell you, every time Priya comes out, she is accompanied by her son, Patrick. Priya is on the right, Patrick is on the left. Priya is seven years old, Patrick, her son, is two years old. Now, our hot deer are native to India, Syria, Sri Lanka, as well as Pakistan. So this is the Jungle World exhibit in um, wherever we are, from the sea. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> what is it, man? It's quite freaky, whatever that is. It is like a bajorno. It's got its little feet together. Rather sweet, whatever that is. Oh, look at it. It's adorable. Little pig otter galloping around here. Rather sweet pig otter. Oh, that's a different one. Oh, Otter's friend has appeared. This one's going Jeff Chinlick. Hey, Jeff Chinlick. Oh, look at it. Really is doing a chin clean. They were like huge. Yeah. Oh, they were huge giant otters, weren't they? I love the painted background. Oh, the painted background's brilliant. With the vapes in it. I love when they have the plants on it, like any. Really cool monkey in this bit. Look at him. Such a cool face, that monkey. Check him out. Another one up here. Let me just zoom in on them. Hello, monkeys on the tree. That one's really good, isn't it? There's a better one, hey? Oh, that tap here, man. Oh, he's got a good nose. He's beautiful. What a lovely little thing. Giant stick insect here. Look at that. Fine stick insect's really creepy. There's a common tree shrew hopping about. Look at him. It's an adorable little thing. Look at a long nostril crocodile. Oh, I didn't realize that good. And then there's other cocky friends in the background. Oh, look at the tail. Look at this one. Look at this one. It's got good eyeballs, man. Look at him. That's such a fantastic weird croc nostril. Alright, there we go. Finally managed to get the weird donded croc again. Nice. Got a bit of an underwater vibe here with massive fish. Hello, massive fish with giant eye. Man, it's actually looking at me with its giant eye. It says that one. Hello, giant eyed fish. There's a turtle behind them down there. Oh, there's a turtle floating around, midget. You can see the floating turtle. It's just spinning. It's really weird. Spinning turtle. What a spinning turtle. But look at weird eye fish. It's just staring at you, man. 
Right, so we're heading into the Trek and Clan section of Bronx Zoo now. Been told no running or jumping. A few rope bridges to start it off. Ease you into the experience. A cool kind of view up here on the Trek section. What's actually point caterpillar? A flying caterpillar. Got all the wobbly bit coming, man. Come on, wobbly bits. Man, I like that. Really is wobbly. Actually, quite extreme. This uh, trip. Check out photo zebra, man. He's literally chilling, waiting to be photoed by everybody. Photo zebra is enjoying his crowd. Look at him. Photo zebra. He's gorgeous. I think this is Giraffe House, but it seems to be an aardvark burrow. Oh, the giraffes are outside today. We go to the aardvark burrow. Because the giraffes are outside. Brackets, it's exceptionally dark in here. Oh man, there really is an aardvark. Is that an aardvark? I don't know what an aardvark looks like. Is that an aardvark? It doesn't look like an aardvark. It looks like a sort of giant death rat. Yeah, it looks like a lizard. Stop ball, stop making the stop ball. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, look at wits. Are they actually stoats? Look at this looking at me while guarding the ball of creatures. Are they dwarf mongooses? They're really beautiful, man. Get them to do it again. Midget, scan. See if they do it again. That's a joke. Well, they're all asleep now. They're all jeffing each other. Oh, like giraffes at the zoo. Giraffes at the zoo look rather happy over there in their giraffe land. Nibbling its tree. Chilling out. The crew watching them. Look at them. Oh, that was like a bit of a wonder now. Oh, no, it's gone quite fast, though. Eh? To its friend. So, queuing up for Budgie. What is it? Budgie Land? Budgie World? What are we queuing? Show us the Budgie feeding sticks. Budgie feeding sticks. Five dollars for Budgie Land. Anyway, hopefully, it's good. Budgie etiquette. Do not attempt to grab a hold of Budgie. We are entering Budgie World. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. Oh man. Just make sure when you're feeding the Budgies to have those sticks over the fence and just don't touch any of the Okay, thank you. Come oh, on, we're into Budgie World, man. Can I get everyone to share this? We want that one. Let's go in a bit further. Come on. Where do you think we should go? Yeah? 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 I don't need buggies there. I think we need to go near some buggies. No, there's a budgie here. This one looks hungry. Hey budgie! Hey budgie! Hey budgie! It's actually quite sweet, that budgie. Hey budgie! It's a nice budgie. Come on, budgies, freak out again. Budgie, freak out. I enjoyed budgie, freak out. They just smacked me in the back of the head. Come on, budgie, freak out. Come on, budgie. Hey, budgie. Hey, budgie. This is a lovely budgie, man. Go on, walk on, daddy, budgie. Come on, fill me with the budgie. Oh. Just move it around. Just fill me and the budgie. Fill me and the budgie for a second. Here I am with my yellow budgie. Yeah. Do you want a whole budgie? Yeah? Go 
Hey, Rafe G with a budgie, man. Go, budgie. Go, budgie. He's a beautiful little budgie, man. That's full on budgie zoom up, man. Oh, budgie. Hey, budgie. It's having a good budgie chomp up, man. Hey, budgie. We're heading into the Dancing Crane Cafe. Oh, salad and grain bowl. Actually looks quite decent in here. Let's have a look. Okay. There's all sorts of things in here. Yeah. Not bad, so you got a big roast beef sandwich, chicken sandwich, pasta salad, cookies, mini pizzas. Grill. Yeah, I agree. Check the grill. <laughs> then you got chicken tenders, double cheeseburger, two hot dogs, fries, French fries. Okay, so where are we? I've almost forgotten already. Uh, Bronx Zoo. Nice. In the cafe. In the cafe. The Crane Cafe. Bronx Zoo. Nice. Something like that. It's something like that. Well, what did we go for? We went for the um, uh, just double, the cheeseburger. double cheeseburger and chips. chips. Oh yeah, Mrs. D went for actually a really nice sort of uh, like poke bowl, salad bowl with beyond chicken. Hold on. Chicken. Like vegan chicken stuff. Let's try the chips. Let's try the chips. Got some kind of seasoning on them. Hello. That is a really good chip. Oh, it's such a good chip, man. Like a coating, mm. I don't know, good flavour. Crispy Where's on the, the outside, mm. but so soft on the inside. So tasteless. Super soft on the inside, but you just don't get a crisp chip like that in the UK. Do you? Mm, this is basic mustard. It's such a good chip. It was a good chip. Oh, I know it's like honey mustard. That's really nice. Mm. The honey mustard's good. Like, compared to other chips, mm. it's like an 8.59 chip. Oh, it is an 8.59 chip. Mm. I'm going to put some ketchup in my burger on here. Well, actually, that might be barbecue sauce. That's barbecue. Oh, that mustard is good. Mm. Okay, burger time. And I'm going to put some ketchup. I'm going to try it by itself, though. Yeah? Okay. Right, burger time. It feels nice and soft. Actually, there's no bag at all for a burger from a... um. Like a brioche bun. Yeah, it's got a nice soft brioche bun. Right, let's go for it. It's a brioche bun. Mm. Mm. Not bad at all. It's actually really, really nice. Better than a McDonald's. Might be. I'm really glad I had that. The meat tastes the really nice. It's a bit weird. Cheese is a bit weird. It's kind of melting and weird. Yeah, it's it's kind of melting out. It's really soft. Oh. Meat has a good flavour. Mm. 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 Really good. Weird and milky flavour of the cheese. There's a weird milky flavour of the cheese. It's really nice. It's soft. It's soft, tasty. I like the tomato. Soft brioche bun. It's actually it's better than McDonald's, I'd say. It's really satisfying. It's actually really good. Really nice. For like a meal and a zoo. Because remember Howlett Zoo in the UK, the last one we did, that was horrible. That one. This is really good. Rating? Well, we don't. We shouldn't have our ratings too high. No. Nah. Mm. Well, it was the first seven. Mm, it was a seven. The oh. cheese brings it down. I quite like, like the weird cheese. It's kind of milky and weird. Yeah. I quite like it. I'm gonna have a quick taste of Miss CD's Beyond Chicken. Love chicken. <laughs> so mean, man. I met you left before. me like a mini scribble. Just a tiny bit I've been allowed. Hmm, not bad at all. Just a bit of chicken. It's the, um, the crispy shell. The guy from Quite Nice. It's got a chicken flavour too. Mm. Mm. Let's go chicken flavour to it. It's really tasty. Oh, it was really nice, actually. I think it tastes like cold chicken nugget. Kind of what? Cold chicken nugget to what it tastes like. It does like, oh, yeah. Chicken nugget. It just tastes like chicken nugget. It does taste like chicken nugget. I'm going to try some of this salad as well. It must be the quinoa and uh, red onion. It tastes like pancit. Mm. Mm. Wow, really good. Mm. 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 Mm.
Hmm. That's probably the first healthy. sort of healthy thing I've eaten in the last five days. The first thing that hasn't been in a bun. <laughs> mm. Mm. At home, we eat so many more vegetables than salads. Yeah. Oh, you got these rather lovely flamingos here. They're actually rather nice, the flamingos. Oh, look at him waving his wings, man. Pretty cool gorillas here, man. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's moving around, look. He's staring at us. Nice. Look at him. It's an extraordinary shape. There's a third. Where's the third one? Oh, in the back. Oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Vision. Three gorillas. Oh, it's a fourth. Even further in the distance. No oh, good gorilla action. Full on gorilla madness here, man. Eh? What is going wild for the gorillas? What is this bit? This is the Congo. Is it gorilla? Oh man, he's lovely. He's a colobus monkey. <clears throat> there's there's two, three, three more of them down there in the back. What do you see? Good monkeys. Some good snake action here, man. Oh, it's, it looks really weird, man. Quite extraordinary snake. Probably doesn't need more space in reality. Got a lovely little monkey family chilling out here. A little baby monkey. The bigger one. Very cool. Well, this guy's over there. Oh, monkey's chilling there in front of everybody, man. Oh, it's true. Sorry, but. Look at him. Quite bizarre. Oh, look at him, man. It's extraordinary. It's so weird. Literally just chilling with the people. Look at the dangerous gorilla, man. It is grumpy and dangerous. Rafe says you wouldn't fight him for a million. Oh, he's moving a bit. Look at him. Step over here. He looks like Grumpy. Man. He's so cool. Come on, do some galloping, gorilla. That is close, man. We're so close to them here. Really close. Oh man, look at them. You can see up right up close to them. Their toes are like hands. A cool spot here. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Oh man. So extraordinary. Look at that one. Man alive, so many of them. Look at him. Look how many sleepers, it's a weird position, man. What are you doing? My mum says go that way to me. Nice. Quite extraordinary, actually, Chris. This bear is actually one of the best things I've seen, man. That is just so cool. They go down any more. Huh? That bears, oh, just unbelievable. Yeah, but on Absolutely right. amazing. Look at it, man. Like a massive carpet. Look at that bear, man. Right, so cool. Still to see its head up there, man. Oh, it's so beautiful in my ride. It was just laying on its rock, man. Yeah, amazing. We got the tiger over there in the distance, man. Is that a tiger or a lion? It's a tiger. There it is, chilling. Oh, it's a bit of a tree view. 
I can't really see it. Hopefully. It looks pretty happy though. It's quite chill. Big tongue out. There it is, chilling out, man. Yawning. I think it's cheap out. It looks really hot, actually. It's a little hot. Pretty cool. Is it a lion or a tiger? It's a pretty cool tiger, man. Look at that. Chilling in its forest habitat. It's sort of happy. Really freaky kind of house over there. Look at that. Yeah. Freaky, spiky house. Anyway, still strolling on. My phone's running out of battery, so I'm back on the GoPro. Snow leopard moving around. You can see it. It's a pretty cool snow leopard. Oh, in you go. Nobody cares. What is even? Seems pretty cool, Snow Leopard. Look. Just nice. Oh. You're so low. Oh, that's a Snow Leopard on the GoPro. It's quite different down here. Snow Leopard on the GoPro. Oh, look at that. It's quite different down here. The Bronx. The rest of the place. That funky is kind of corrugated underpass section, isn't it? I want to get to see in film sometimes. Oh, it's there. It's crazy bridge.